Hello guys, welcome back again after a long time. So it's a good evening and welcome back again to our topic the history India of um, Telangana, history of India and Telangana. So we left the topic here after the migration of Aryans and Dravidians to the South India as well as their uh, existence and flourishing towards the entire plateau of India. So, there's a thing that you have to observe in my topic uh, name, the history of India and Telangana. So, how far we are successful in revealing the secrets of the topic, the history of India and Telangana. So then, what we have to do is uh, that how far we are succeeded in Telangana and India. Okay, so let's move it uh, forward by approaching that. How many rulers came to India after uh, the Telangana period or before the Telangana period, or before the word Telangana started? So it is the word that I have to tell you. The many dynasties ruled the Telangana. Yeah. So <clears throat> the thing is that if we scroll the pages, if we flip the pages of history, we come to know starting from the period of the early rulers, we get the somewhat the clues and archaeological excavations from the time of Shatavanas. So there are only we can conclude them. We can uh, come to the conclusion that they are only the ancestors or the rulers who ruled us or the rulers who led us to the path then after them many ruled but the famous are the Kakatiyas okay so stopping the topic uh, here we have to reveal more secrets that uh, if we tally this uh, Shatavana's rule with uh, the Ananda rulers if any connections are there means we directly come to the conclusion we get the history of them in many books that the Shatavanas are the vassals feudal kings of uh, the Mauryan Empire and uh, mainly the Vadya Barkad under the Ashoka the Great so it is the period of 323 BC 300 BC, million, uh, 323 BC. 362, 262 BC or before that 326, 327 BC period of Alexander's invasion <coughs> so here <coughs> children one thing to it's according to me it is day by day becoming hard for us uh, to gather our history and from where to gather and where to preserve and how to preserve in what on what topic we have to name it by whose rule you can get a coincidence book so in that you can get the name of the dynasty who the he came and he is the successor of him he is the successor of him even the Kakatiya kings or Shatavana kings or Vakatakas or Vira, Sikshwaku kings and many more up to the last we will get Hmm. the end of uh, the Kakatiya Empire and starting of Qutub Shahi dynasties, Bahamani dynasties, Qutub Shahi dynasties and up to the Nizam Rulvidike. But here, this is the not uh, the actual history that we are going to search. So we have to get the importance, what is the importance of their rule. Either we have missed anything that uh, the, in the way of uh, message or anything, any clue that they have that is hidden in their role. So what is the reason for the remembrance that we are still remembering them in our education system? Why you children are taught this from since a very long time? This you have to remember. By this aspect you have to take care. We will get a number of king's names. So here, there are some. 
like uh, the previous uh, age of Shatavana, Shatavana sage and uh, after that we will get many more games of Chalukyas, Rasta Kutas, Vimla Vada Chalukyas, Vingi Chalukyas and in the same way that uh, the Cholas, the Kanduri Cholas and many more and in the same way the Kakatiyas uh, road is also very famous in that we have to think about many more things like that, uh, that uh, we have to think care of that uh, if like many things like uh, the inscriptions of Mata Dushayasanam and uh, Malikarjuna Pandita Ratya, the famous poet of the time and then the Rudra Deva Shasanam and uh, it is uh, Achitendra Hmm? Yeti and uh, Vellanki Gandhara Mantri and Nagadeva Kavi as well as uh, Brahma Shiva Kavi and uh, Palpuri Somanatha um, Malaredi Bakkala Shasanam it is also inscription and Mallapuraju Jayapasenani and uh, Kavi Chakravarti and Vishweshwara Teshi Kudu or Shiva Deva Gona Buddha Reddy, he was very famous from 1210 to 1240, and Shiva Devaya, Abhinava Maya, Mayura Suri, and Ishvara Bhattopatyo, and Kuppambika, Chakra Paniranga, Nathudu, and Krishna Macharyulu, Kola Nirudra Devudu, Kaparthi, Prataparatrudu, Marana, Vidya Nathudu, Agastudu, Sharabhang Kudu, Narasimhuru, Shakalya Mallana, Kulakki, Bhaskarudu, Vidyaranya Sami, Sayanulu, Appa Yaranyudu, Appa Yayurudu, Appa Yayurudu, Vishwanathudu, and Kacha Bhupati, Vitalavsraju, Ganaparathudu, as well as Kanduri Oruganti Shastra Kavalu, Ravi Pati, Tipurantakulu. So like this uh, it becomes a very big list of children. So if in one kingdom this many kings are here who are famous for their works and in the list that I had uh, recited in front of you, if this many people are here, what are their works and what is the message they have to, they have the desire to pass. So is anything that is workable in this uh, generation, in this globalization period? Mm -hmm. Maybe, because if it's not like that, uh, we can't uh, even care the history. See, it's hardly as an example that we remember the name of, if we ask a person who, who is your father, what's the name of your father, and she will tell, then what's the name of your grandfather. He will tell who is having a knowledge, if he might have heard from his father then. Who is your great grandfather means he will get in the dilemma. But previous people are having more due obedience toward their ancestrals as well as genealogy. Even though there are some number of people who are learned and well educated, even though they written their names and they passed it to our generation. But today are we doing that? Hardly the father's or mother's name has entered in the education norms or the application. So what about the fathers, fathers, grandfathers, great grandfathers from which generation we are? This we have to preserve. This is the way to preserve the history, historical data. And my motive is not only this, means not only to bring the history of India and Telangana together. So what is the important, from starting on what I was uh, telling you, in my classes that Indians and the Aryans, the Indo-Aryans or Dravidians, they are having something in them. That's why they are thrown, overthrown from the Nile or Mesopotamian or Samaritan, these type of civilizations which started or which emerged. Maybe they started from a long time, we didn't get correct data. So the period is 
9 to 10,000 BC. In between that, these kingdoms was flourish. If we go to the authentic archaeological and historical books, we'll get this number, figure. So my aim is that, what I want to tell, if they are having anything, that's why they have chased by the Aryan race. That's why they came and settled up to the plateau of India. So what was the precious thing? If according to the books like uh, Jewish books, holy books, and Christian holy books, Islamic holy books, and other Vedas, so here there's something the power that uh, they are possessing. Who the people? We, the Indians, the today's Indians, geographical Indians, the even genetically. The, if you check the DNA, we are one even though our religions are different. So according to me, while giving a debate or lecture like, or class like this, a man goes asked on different talks by taking the names. So the thing that maybe if you scroll out, if you read one time the history of the Jewish people, the Moses, the lifetime of Moses, he was bestowed with many things, such as the covenant of war, the staff, um, the magical stuff given from God, hmm? the Ark of Covenant, many things. So they take him and they roam to the different places. At last they came and settled down. These Jewish people, even the prophet didn't enter the promised land. They entered the Israel and after him the, the king Solomon came. There is the prophet also, who was also prophet. So they constructed a temple there to preserve this. After that, we are not having proper knowledge that where the covenant of our gone. If it is there, then it is not shown to us. Some says that it was in the Vatican City, some says but in Jerusalem, even though these two religions are having difference, they are one. If we read the history deeply. So if they are having their valuable and holy things there with them, then why these Jews came and came and settled down here in India? So why who are the travelers who migrated here? See, if we study deeply about King Solomon, he has the mines, the gold and copper mines, especially copper mines. The people and gold mines who used to work there are the black people, like the travelers. So, if we see the South Indian history, it also says that the way of living of the travelers of South India and uh, the Eastern African people or same. So these are maybe are the labor people who work under the king and prophet Solomon who are having the knowledge, who worked in under him his mines, copper mines and gold mines. So after his uh, end of his uh, rule, maybe they have migrated here. And uh, that time is the golden age during the prophet's time. And now after they let came to India. They started the working of gold, taking of gold on this plateau. So that's why the golden age was produced here. So in this, in their chase, maybe the Aryan groups, the Iranian, Indo-Aryan groups, they have chased them. First they settled down at Harappa or Mohenjo-daro, as per the one theory. Another theory they directly came here. And by chasing them, the Jews came there. If it is the matter of only the they are having the metallurgical knowledge or any other thing like uh, the such as uh, what we say the covenant of art they have brought the covenant of art and any holy scrolls any skate books if they came these people Jews by chasing the uh, and after them British also came and have they taken that the unknown, the one God hmm, that we believe in the Brahma that have given him, given to the earth. So the people who, the dravidans are the followers, maybe the right followers of the monotheism, the single God worshippers. And these Jews came in search of them and their motive maybe is to destroy them, to kill them. That was happening if we see the history, whole history of India. Maybe, maybe 
the covenant of ark they got or didn't got if they got maybe they are taken by the help of britishers who okay, came many thousands of years after them so if not if they are not possibly they are still having eye upon our country india and the nagar so as per me it is my view my theory so the work uh, we are working by scrolling out these scriptures whatever the knowledge we are having we are passing to you we have you have to save this children and you have to preserve this you have to work upon this so let us see what our land of india as well as many i am having the if my theory works the our telangana region may flourish that these are having the huge deposits such as i think what i want to tell you you may have grasped that maybe we can get the covenant of ark the ark of moses or many more things nowhere but here in the land of telangana so until then i'll give you a surprise let us wait and we will feel pray to the god may the things will be revealed they are somewhere around us maybe up on nagarjuna konda or somewhere hmm okay until then wait for my next class goodbye thank you